This can't possibly be it, right? It has to be. Let's just go knock. If it's not, I'll ask for directions. Get back in the car! Get back in the car! What the hell are you doing here? Who set you? Who? Stand down, Lazarus. Who doth entertain my presences with thou selves? Ugh. I mean, who are you guys? We're, uh, news journalists from Phylorb News. I'm Carrie Andrews. We spoke on the phone last week. Oh, of, of course. I knew that. My liege? The PA system cut out again. They're guests. Let them in. so fast. He said he'd let us in. When Abrahamus first told me how he created the universe and the people in it, as well as his plan to save humanity from itself, I took an oath to always protect and serve him. Now, I must pat you down. Lazarus, what do you think you're doing? I forgot the gloves for the cavity search, oh glorious one. Ah, Carrie, it's so good to finally meet you in person. And so glad to meet you as well, Jeffrey. <laughs> well, what are you two waiting for? Come on into my heavenly abode. <sighs> Whoa, this place is like twice the size of mine. What are you talking about? Your salary covers more than enough for something like this. Well, you know, I have to take care of my other Expenses? Uh, May I offer y'all anything to drink? Some water would be nice. Yeah, maybe you can turn it into some wine. <laughs> <laughs> now why would I use my powers for something as silly as that? Uh, um, well, I... I uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Uh, oh no, that, that's a good one. I'll have to write that down. Uh, Lazarus, uh, get our guests some water, please. Come. <clears throat> Let there be light. Light. Uh, wow. <laughs> Who exactly is that? Oh, uh, that's just a uh, Lazarus. Don't 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 mind him. He's uh, he's very passionate about my uh, me and my well-being. Is that really his name, Lazarus? Well, that's the name I gave him. Anyway, after that old whiny beggar in the Book of Luke. <laughs> <laughs> He thinks I named him after the, um, the guy that Jesus rose from the dead. Nope. He really does not leave me alone. You know, I find it strange that there are two Lazaruses in the Bible. Seems to me like bad writing. Not what I would have done. I heard my name, oh exalted one. Only praise, I hope.
say, Abrahamus, who are these guys? Ah, those are two of my disciples. They live about halfway across the country. I actually met them at Burning Man. That was, of course, right after I learned my true purpose. Uh, and I spread it to them, which you can see there. They look so happy. You know, uh, there's actually some flyers that Lazarus needs to pass out uh, before the event tonight. Um, Carrie, would you mind uh, helping Lazarus out with that? I would like to have it one on one with Jeff here. Is that okay with you? Oh, yeah. I'd love to pick his brain a little bit. Excellent. Um, Lazarus, would you mind escorting the lovely Carrie out to the car? <clears throat> Take all the time you need. So, Abrahamus, um, when did you begin this journey of spiritual enlightenment? This began uh, during an acid trip that I had. As I, as I peaked, I was divinity. I was a higher being. I, I was God. And as I came out of it, I realized that I had a much larger responsibility to bring those that were less fortunate than me back up. And so I ask you, Jeffrey Higgins, are you satisfied with your life? Not really. No. Do you have any direction? No. Any purpose? No. Do you have any sense of belonging? Even at work? Can't say that I do. Would you like some? I'm listening. Hello, you've reached Jeff. I can't reach the phone right now. What the hell is going on? is he wearing? Hey! <laughs> Why haven't you been answering? I've called five times. I haven't had my phone. Abrahamus says it connects me to my old world. And my focus should be on my new world. With him. What did you do to him? I have done nothing to him. He is acting of his own free will. He realized the life he led at your news company was unfulfilling. So he turned to me. That's not true, is it, Jeff? We love you like a brother over here. <laughs> he told me about the meager pay, the long hours, the utter stress he's been under. He told me you made fun of his clothes today. Now, why would someone make fun of the way someone chooses to express their individuality? Why are you doing this, Jeff? I can answer that. Let you Jeff see, answer for himself. It's the only avenue I have left. Jeff, Lazarus, camera guy. Let us away. Wait! Not you too. Look, Carrie. I'm not the problem here. 
the world is just so scary, and no one wants to go through that alone. That's where I come in. 